New details on a traffic stop caught on camera that led to a political controversy. State Senator Justine Wadsack appears in court to answer a, to a speeding ticket she originally refused to sign. Now, the traffic stop happened back in March. At the time, she said she was protected under legislative immunity, but that ticket didn't go away. And now Senator Wadsack has gone before a judge. 13 News reporter Renee Romo has this update. It was near here at Speedway and Euclid that Wadsack was pulled over for driving twice the speed limit, according to TPD's incident report. But she continues to claim she's innocent. Justine Wadsack? Not guilty. Wadsack pleaded not guilty in Tucson City Court, and she was joined by a group of people that showed up today after she posted a tweet calling for her followers to come support her on Monday. I, I thank everybody for coming. Uh, I do have supporters and people will learn the truth. Included in that post, Wadsack claimed Tucson Mayor Regina Romero and TPD Police Chief Chad Kazmar are using the government to prosecute their political opponents. Wadsack's attorney Brad Miller says they plan to file a notice of claim against the city to ask for a deposition of Mayor Romero and Chief Kazmar. Romero has declined to comment and I have not heard back from Kazmar. Because it does look like this had some sort of political motivation. Wadsack also mentioned TPD Lieutenant Lauren Petty in her tweet who tried to issue Wadsack's citation after she initially refused to sign the citation due to legislative immunity, which is allowed per Arizona law. Wadsack refused again when Petty contacted her in June once the legislative session ended. Back on March 15th, body cam footage showed Wadsack explained that her Tesla was about to die, which is why she was speeding but denied driving so fast. Speedway is a 35 mile an hour zone. I understand. And you're doing over 70. I was not doing 70. Yes, you were. I was behind you. I had my radar on. It was also said Wadsack did not have proof of insurance, which her attorney, Brad Miller, said they will be providing to the civil side to get that part immediately dismissed. He ended with saying they are looking forward to their day in court and believes that the outcome will be fair. We appreciate the judicial process. A person is innocent until proven guilty. We look forward to the opportunity to present our side of what actually happened. Wadsack is set to appear back in court on October 28th at 9 a.m. In Midtown, Renee Romo, 13 News.